Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip Tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to quickly add a contact in Matrix. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS has slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. All right, so to begin adding a contact to your system, you'll first need to navigate to the contact section found under the My Matrix tab. And from here, we're simply going to click the Add button. Now, for anyone who's already familiar with Matrix, you already know that highlighted fields represent the mandatory information that needs to be added. In this case, we'll start by adding the contact's first name, then their last name, and finally, up to five email addresses if your contact plus four of their associates would like to be included in all future emails sent from Matrix. Now, in addition to this, we also have the option of including any of the following secondary information with this contact as well. But for this example, I want to ensure that reverse prospecting is enabled so a buyer's agent can see that this synonymous contact has been sent their property. I'm also going to select the mortgage pre-approved option just to let the buyer's agent know that when he's looking, my contact has already been pre-approved for their mortgage as well. All right, so once we're done filling out all the mandatory and any optional fields, simply click Save to add this contact. Another way to add one or more contacts to Matrix is by importing them from another source. To do this, you'll first need to export your contacts from their source as a CSV file. Now to import those same contacts into Matrix, you'll need to make sure that your CSV column names match exactly what Matrix is expecting. And to help do that, Matrix provides a CSV template file that you can download and use to add your contacts. So for this example, I'm simply gonna add the required last name, first name, and email address for this contact. But of course, I could also include any secondary information or add some additional contacts as well. But since this is the only contact that I'll be importing, let's go ahead and save the file. And then back in Matrix, select it from your computer. All right, so now that the contact's been imported, let's head back to our list of contacts. And from here, we can either access the collection of contact actions or simply click the name of the contact that you'd like to view or edit. All right, well, this concludes this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.